I don't know about y'all, but our fridge is about 50% beverages. There's hardly even any room for food. Lucky for us, New Era came to the rescue with a new beverage cooler to free up some space. Our kitchen is small, so we chose the smallest one they make. Hoping that we can install it where our trash and recycling are currently. And moving those things into what is now a broom closet. You might be wondering, how are we going to get that into there? We have a cunning plan. Do you want to attack the frame first or the interior next? Probably the frame. Okay. Oh, God. Do we have any new blades? Probably could take that door off, though. Okay. like a shim in between. Mm -hmm. Voila. Yeah. But I think only taking one of these might actually work. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know, and if that's the case, we probably want the right one since that's the one we need the most yeah. access. Yeah. yeah. Just use my, uh, look at the little cutters and I'll cut those off. Yeah. I figured that's what it was. Brad, nail yeah, it. we gotta get this side out, hon. Oh, the right side, yeah. Mm -hmm. figure out how high we want to jack it up. Yeah. It, it's just tilted down. Yeah. Either we're going to have to pull it forward and raise it like we talked about, which I think that's the ideal thing. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I think the door should be equal with... The doors. Yeah. Yeah. And if we raise it, this has got to take into consideration too, sweetie. Yeah. So we can't go any higher than that hinge. We're going to need an outlet to power this thing, so Ames is running a new one off of the one that our contractor had installed a while back to power the dishwasher, which he discovered was not GFCI. Hey contractors, you don't use just regular <laughs> outlets where there's water. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not rocket science. <laughs> Pay the extra because you probably charged me for it. GFCI outlet. They go where wet water goes. <laughs> Sorry, just had to.
You may have noticed that this is a standalone fridge. It's not intended to be built in. Therefore, it vents its heat from the backside, and if it isn't properly ventilated, it can negatively affect performance. We knew this going into it, but really needed the fridge to be super small, so we're going to make it work. I want to cut holes in it. Okay. We're just going to cut little circular holes throughout it so it'll be ventilated, and I got to do one hole just back there just to... Okay, just like with the hole saw? Yeah. Perfect. Just something just to put holes so it, you know, gets some air. Makes sense. Despite our efforts, the temperature still would not get below 50 degrees, so we determined more holes would be needed. And bigger holes. And a fan. Now, it is summer in Phoenix. 105 outside, 80 degrees inside, about 30% humidity and our kitchen faces west. So I don't expect this fridge to be nearly as finicky the rest of the year or in any other climate. So we're basically putting it through a pretty extreme stress test. While the installation and calibration were a little tricky, we couldn't be more pleased with how nice it is to have an extra fridge in our kitchen. It just adds a little extra touch of class and you would not believe how spacious our refrigerator is now. <laughs> <laughs> 